FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook. Bring you an FCS championship game preview presented by CollegeSportingNews.com between the Sam Houston State Bearcats and the North Dakota State Bison. Now let's take a look at some keys to victory for both teams, starting with the Bison. When you look at North Dakota State, you want to start with their defense, and I think the linebackers have to trust what they see this week versus Sam Houston State, who has an explosive offense. So when you look at Grant Olson, Travis Beck, those guys have to trust what they see. And they've done a great job all year long with getting off the field on third downs and clamping down in the red zone. That's the biggest key right now, and I think, in this game. Can they continue to play excellent defense? If they can do that, they can have a great chance of knocking off the Bearcats. Offensively, this is a classic matchup between power versus speed, and I think if they want to run the football like they've done all season long, they're going to have to move the tight end around the formation, line up in those double tight strong sets with both tight ends to one side. I think that gives them better angles to run the football and seal the edge so that way Ojuri can definitely get to the outside. Now, when you look at Sam Houston in this matchup, first quarter offense will be key. The Bearcats have the speed to flip field position in an instant. They also have the speed to take the distance and to put up points in bunches. They're going to have to force North Dakota State to play fast. You want to make this a track meet. Look for more of an up-tempo, no-huddle type of style to try to maximize the athleticism that they have on the perimeter. I think that's a way Sam Houston State can better improve themselves this time around as opposed to last year's game. Look for them to try to get Flanders out there on the perimeter. Richard Sincere in those Wildcat type of situations to try to maximize the speed and talent they have versus North Dakota State. Defensively for the Bearcats, I look at the secondary. I look at guys like Bookie Sneed and Dax Swanson, the two corners. I think those guys will have a huge impact in this ball game. We know North Dakota State doesn't throw the football a lot, but when they do, they are efficient. So these guys have an opportunity to make big plays and get the ball back for their offense. An intriguing pro prospect you want to watch in this ball game is junior cornerback Marcus Williams. 5'11", 195, has great ball skills and does a great job with his footwork, and that's big for a cornerback. He also has the ability to help you out in the return game, both as a kickoff returner and a punt returner. And for Sam Houston State, the cornerback, Dax Swanson, I mentioned him before, another one of these guys that can help you out in the return game and also shows good fundamentals when he's covering wide receivers. And that's something that you want out of a corner, a guy that has smooth hips, able to turn and run and make plays on the ball. Lamar Gordon is definitely a campus legend for North Dakota State. This is a guy that finished his career with over 4,700 yards rushing, averaged 6.1 yards a carry in 41 games. Only player in school history, second player in school history to finish with back-to-back -back All American seasons and also left the university as the leader in game, season, and career rushing yardage. Matt Dominguez was an outstanding wide receiver for Sam Houston State from 1997 to 2000, was a big and physical presence and was back-to-back -back team MVP and also the school's first All-American. I like North Dakota State in this ball game. This is a game, a classic game of power versus speed, so it's going to come down to trench warfare. Who can win at the point of attack on both offense and defense? Both sides of the line of scrimmage will be key. I like what I see out the Bison's offensive line, and we know Sam Houston State's D-line is outstanding. I think they can do just enough to keep those guys at base, stick with the running game. I think that's how they ultimately win. Look for another classic showdown between two outstanding FCS programs. 